Independence Day. The 4th of July weekend is coming up and celebrations for Independence Day are running. But what makes this day special? On July 4th the United States celebrate the day the Declaration of Independence was adopted declaring the US free from Great Britain and an independent country. It's a day of national pride and patriotic displays. Fireworks are common as well as baseball games, outdoor picnics, parades and musical concerts. But how did it all start? For that we have to go back a couple hundred years when the US consisted of 13 colonies ruled by King George III, King of England. The Boston Tea Party and the so-called massacre were two acts representing the colonists' anger against the British government as they had no voice in decisions that affected their lives. A revolutionary revolt began and colonies started to vote to set up a representation of the colonies. What followed was the Declaration of Independence. In fact it was a letter to King of England written on July 2, 1976 by Thomas Jefferson formally explaining the reasons to declare independence and justifying the revolt against the British. It was signed by 56 men representing the 13 colonies. A new nation was born, the United States of America, a nation, no longer part of the British Empire. What else is interesting to know? Two signatories. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson died on July 4, 50 years after the Declaration. While a third president, James Monroe died seven years later. Calvin Coolidge was the first and up until now the only president born on July 4. When did it become a national holiday? The U.S. Congress officially made July 4, 1870 a federal holiday, whereas it wasn't until 1941 when it was expanded to a paid holiday. So how are you going to celebrate the birth of the United States of America? Happy Independence Day!